Hey everybody, here we are again, and it's a better brew, Bandit Brew. And we're here to talk about it. It comes in a sachet with a cap on it. You have a plug that you have to rip out once you've undone the cap. It's a kitten kilo, 1.8 kilos of malt, pre-hot malt. It's got instructions on the back, a yeast packet that I didn't use, that was actually stuck to the bottom I think, as it usually is, but I didn't use it. I reused the SO5 yeast, as usual. And I use standard kilo of table sugar, or a kilo of standard table sugar, or a, no, I won't bother. It just says it's a premium 23 litre beer kit, doesn't have any tasting notes on it. By the time I was brewing it, I'd forgotten what it was all about. Bandit brew, that's all it was. Bandit brew. I didn't actually read the instructions, which I was thinking I'll cut the top off. And in the instructions, third, carefully cut the bag open at the top and pour the malt extract into your fermenter. But I didn't. I thought, no, they've left this on for a reason. So, it does spin a little bit. So I opened it up, ripped it out, after soaking it in hot water first, of course. Poured it in, carefully poured boiling water in. I had to hold it there and pour water in from the kettle straight in. And it actually seemed to work really quite well. I was a bit iffy about it, thinking I'll need to use my jug system. I like my jugs, but holding it on the extremities, it was okay. The boiling water was inside, it was, it was hot, don't get me wrong, it was quite hot, but if you look, it's got quite a bit of sachet that isn't actually sachet, if you know what I mean. It's sealed. So the bottom of that bit, because it stands like that, it will stand upright. I'm waffling now, I'm waffling. Basically, you can hold the sachet just about and swish it backwards and forwards, take the top off, empty it into your fermenter, put more boiling water in, swish it, and it cleans the bag out, sachet out. Right. Facts and figures. So we'll bin that off to that side. Come to that in a bit. Better brew, bandit brew. Starting gravity was one point. I should mention it does say somewhere. Use 1.8 kilos of sugar. It, it definitely says on there. It, it'll say in here somewhere. Uh, da, 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 da. Can't be bothered reading the instructions. I did have a quick look, I think. I used a standard kilo, uh, or a kilo of standard table sugar. It recommends for You will require 1.5 kilos of dextrose, stroke brewing sugar, or in brackets brewing sugar, sugar, to match typical commercial strength to kilo beer at approximately 5%. I didn't want 5%. I used a kilo of standard table sugar. I'll 
stop offering. Right. Starting gravity was 1.46, 1.046 at 22 degrees C. Final gravity, 1.012 at 22 degrees C, giving an approximate ABV, and I mean approximate, of 4.61956522% alcohol by volume. Cost of the kit, £16.45. Bag of sugar, about 65p, that's £17.10, cost-wise. So, quite up there costly. We'll come to that bit in a, in a minute. So when I opened the kit, I had a bit of a sniff as you're pouring it into fermenter. And I was quite looking forward to tasting it because it smelled a bit back I did St. Peter's Plum Porter. And it smelt almost the same as that Christmas cake. I was getting Christmas pudding, Christmas cake, that sort of plummy, Christmassy smell. And I thought, that's going to be nice. So here we are. Let's give it a sniff. It's a pretty torch. It's pretty much yeah, certainly clear, I'd say almost polished clear. And it's a nice amber colour. So, aromas, straight in there, plum, without a shadow of a doubt, you get that, yeah, it's like opening a bag of plums, it's no longer quite as much Christmas cake, the, the sweetness obviously isn't there anymore because your sugar is fermented. But yeah, it's it's very, very reminiscent of the Plum Porter. Again, not as dark as the Plum Porter, but an amber, an amber ale. And let's go in for the taste. Plummy, plum, 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 plum. All the way. Not quite as strong a plum flavour as the plum porter, but still pretty much, yeah, it's still lasting now as, yeah, a plum, plum flavour. There's a slight tartness, but no real. Maybe, no, maybe just a hint of bittering. A nice, pleasant, tarty bittering. As if you're eating a tart plum. It is very nice. Mouthfeel wise, I'd say is. A good medium you've got these flavors that are coming through all the time plum flavors I've tried but I'll get there in a minute there you go. yeah <clears throat> it starts off a big plum flavor and just die slowly back you're getting the tarty bitterness coming in now no watery notes there's no wateriness about it that is a very nice then I thought I'll go and look at the tasting notes because bandit brew bandit brew what's that all about plum 
the bandit steel plums. It might. I don't know. So I went to the website. I went to um, the Hot Shops website, where I bought the kit from. There's a, a link in the description, as usual. And this is the description straight off, and it's and it comes. I've emailed back and forward, and it, it comes straight from Hamilton Boards website who create the kit. Better brew bandit brew tequila and lime beer. Tequila and lime beer. Sorry, kit at the end. Plummy plum plum plum. Bandit brew, tequila and lime beer, homebrew kit, homebrew beer kit. Better brew, bandit brew, tequila and lime produces a thirst quenching Mexican style light beer flavoured with tequila and lime. Kariba! Amber, light amber. Plummy plum plum, Reba. Playing homage to the Desperado beer. I don't think I've ever had a Desperado beer. This beer style is better bottled. Now it is on the barrel, as usual. I prefer barrel beer. Polly bin, if you're going to be picky. Because you want to serve it cold with good carbonation. Nice. Light carbonation. Plummy plum plum. You will require one and a half kilos of dextrose to make 5% beer. Alternatively, you can substitute dextrose for a liquid malt extract for a maltier and fully bodied beer. Better brew kits are made from less liquid malt extract from several manufacturers around the world. One of the first ranges featuring pouch style kits containing 1.8 kilos of liquid malt extract and producing 40 pints. So, Better Brew Bandit Brew Tequila and Lime Beer is totally natural, therefore contains no additives, preservatives or colourings. And, in my opinion, Tastes like plum. I've said that before. Doesn't taste like tequila and lime. I've tried. I've concentrated. Tequila and lime, tequila and lime, tequila and lime. Tequila and lime. Okay. Plum, plum, plum. No, I cannot get tequila and lime out of that. I mean, lime isn't heavily citrusy, but it's more citrusy than plum. I don't know. I'm going to, um, I, I perhaps might get in touch with Hamilton Boyd themselves what their thoughts are but I would have thought personally tequila and lime would have been lighter than that I might be wrong but anyway nice beer if you like a plum flavoured beer Never tried Desperados, so don't know. Right. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.